All right, people. So I forgot to, to, to write this down in my notes. I was actually saying during my raw review, like I was looking through my notes and like there was only nine segments in there and I had to go back and look on no DQ if I forgot any of them. And apparently I did and I, you know, I double checked and I still forgot. And I was looking, you know, and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot this or what, I, I, something like that. You know, I was looking somewhere, but Mark Henry and fucking uh, Lana had a little bit of a promo there that I forgot to review, so I figured I might review. I should, I should fucking review it now. Uh, you know, basically Mark Henry. You know, it's sort of cool when you call them both jackasses or whatever, but it's still like fucking, you know, not that good. Like. It's just like this whole fucking, you know, roof set bullshit. It's like I've been saying it over and over. It's taking place during a time when there's so little trust right now in the government and there's still a little patriot patriotism, you know, in the government that's for you know, by people into America because the government is just so corrupted and you know, now it's happening in Ferguson, the NSA spying you know, the, the, the useless wars for the military industrial complex, just all the bullshit that's happening in the fucking world, or just in our country, you know, to make people, like, Congress approval rating is like 8% or some, 10%, some, something like that, and Obama's approval rating is very low as well, <clears throat> and people know that, you know, this government and just politics in general are just so corrupted right now. So there's still a little trust in the government. So, uh, uh, you know, a, a character like this, an, an American character, isn't going to really work for me. Especially for me. Like, the typical guy does have a little bit of, I think the average Joe has a little bit of distrust in the American government, but not to the level I have. I am so far, you know, if, on a level of 1 to 10 of trust I have in the government right now, it's about a a one seriously like I have no faith in them for, to tell the truth because they have proven to me that they not, they do not so for it like an American character like I will never chant USA at this point in my uh, government's or the, in my country's time right now I'm not gonna chant USA this country is so corrupted right now you know being held by fucking Obama a fucking criminal who violates the Constitution I, there, no, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna chant USA. I, I, I have no patriotism. They took it from me. I, I don't have like even on, when the USA's playing in the fucking Olympics. Like I want to get into the game, but I can't. I don't. It's hard for me to have patriotism anymore because Obama and the the, the criminals, you know, have fucking taken it all from me. So I, I just don't have any patriotism. I mean, I, I mean, Rusev is a bad guy, and he's protesting against the USA a little bit. Lana is. And it's like, I agree with them on a lot of things that they're saying. <laughs> you know? So, uh, but, you know, it's like, it, it's okay at times. Like, when Rusev does get a little bit of, of heat on him at times, like at the pay-per-view at SummerSlam, when he dropped the flag or whatever, or Swagger dropped it, and JPL goes ape shit on him, like, I'm like, it's just a fucking flag, people. It's personal property. If I want to fucking drop my flag on the ground, I can. It's called personal property, <laughs> you know? Like, they want to uh, make all these laws. I know I'm going off topic here a little bit, but I figure since I, you know, I have a video, I'd at least talk about something other than just a fucking segment. So, um, you know, if they're going to... Yeah, yeah, you know, if they're gonna make laws, oh, you can't burn a flag or whatever, and people might support them because they, yeah, they sound good, you know. But it's personal property. I could do whatever the fuck I want with the fucking flag, you know. Like, that's just how I feel about it. Um, you know, and and a government-owned property that that's that's a fucking you know what government when government tells you what you can do with your property, that's a trait of communism. We don't want that. We want you know free market. You can do what you want capitalism, you know, and you shouldn't be able, you should be able to burn your flag if you want, so now that I'm going off topic and shit, you know, the, the segment, I mean, it was just a fucking not good segment, I didn't think, he had a little brawl after, like a two second brawl, Mark Henry delivers the world's strongest slam, so overall, I mean, not
not a good fucking segment, I didn't think. I mean, I'm, I'm yawning now. I'm so fucking tired. Um, a, a few good fucking, you know, spots, like when he calls me jackasses or whatever, but, you know, just didn't enjoy it really that much. You know, I, I, I thought it could have been, uh, you know, a little bit better. A lot, a lot better, actually. I mean, and I, I sort of like how you brought up I was in the Olympics, you know, it sort of tied into the Patriots. It's, oops, fucking chopped the camera there. Sort of tied into the patriotism aspect of it. But still, not a good segment overall. So there you go, people. There's my little uh, review of uh, Mark Henry and uh, Lana and Rusev's segment. So there you go.